Let's check it out. We've got Grin All For You featuring Aspera, request by Coop. Let's give it a listen. Looking very spooky. Very spooky. Jeez. Oh, it's a thrasher. Okay. Drummer is jacked. Holy. Ooh, that's nice. Do I saw your eyes? Eyes in the dark. Praying pools of fear. These vocals are cool. Wait. And I promise you, it's letting me more than it hurts you. It's letting me more than it is. Whoa. This man threw me for a loop. Tesseract, is it not? This is very Tesseract in the feel. I like that. Don't tell me lies. Just tell me oh, oh, oh. I'm lying. Trembling thighs will spy a hair in the moonlight. Where will you go? Oh, yes. I got a little spirit box in there, too, actually. This is cool. All the layers of the vocals, the melodies. And the bass work as well. I didn't know if it was over or not. And it's not? Or maybe the song portion is. Kind of scary. Ooh, outro. I like that. Hmm. The 
This outro feels like a whole nother song and I love it. I don't know if this is part of the actual song, but I actually really like this outro. What the heck? The little, the bass, the piano, there was like this very ambient, like, it seemed like a very post rock kind of like lead guitar kind of note that was just resonating off into the distance, the birds chirping. Like that was a very cool, Little outro there. I would have listened to a whole song built on that. But the main track. All for you. That was a banger. I'm not really sure. I wasn't paying so much attention to where I could figure out where the feature was in there. Espera. But I really, really liked the song overall. Again, I think uh, there were moments where I did catch a little bit of I felt like some spirit box, but more so test rack for me. But then Tony said test rack plus spirit box. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm feeling. Their vocalist very talented. I love how they, I love how they threw me off from the very beginning because they came in so hard and I'm like, oh, this band's going to be thrashing. But then they come in with like the, the ridiculous, like singing and the insanely high notes stuff. That's very reminiscent from, uh, Daniel from Tesseract, insane vocalist. And as well, the bass lines and some of the melodies as well. Like it just sounded like they could have been like a brother, brother, sister band. But I don't, I don't even know where the spirit box sort of vibe was coming for me in there. I don't, I was just getting it somehow. And the extended sort of breakdown that they did was pretty cool. They've only got three songs, I think somebody said. Oh, as far okay, it's the three ladies. Okay, I see. See, I like the addition of that because you had that like choir feel. That was again something that I attribute to Tesseract because in a lot of the songs, Daniel has his voice layered so many times in so many different like pitches or whatever that it feels like there's a whole choir with him. So that was another another part that I liked a lot. So that was cool. Very cool concept and well delivered. What is up, YouTube? If you want a chance to win a live song request, then be here on Sundays at 5 p.m. Eastern. We're streaming marbles on stream. You'll get a marble. It'll run the obstacle course. And if you're lucky enough to win, you'll get a song request of your choice. It is a blast, guys. So many people show up. I've discovered so many new bands doing this. It's just something fun, different than the day-to-day -day stuff on the channel. There'll be links down below to the Discord where you can join, find out how to enter the races. We're always in there chatting, memeing, talking, anything about music it is so freaking fun guys so i will see you there and as always if you're still here if you're still watching thank you so much and i will see you on the next one